Welcome to Avatir. Password Station is our self-service password reset and synchronization solution. For this demonstration, we will be walking through the steps needed to enroll in Password Station from the user's perspective so that he or she can reset their own password. We begin at the language selection screen. With Password Station, a user can enroll or reset their own password in any one of the 29 supported languages without having to install anything on their computer. For example, when I arrive at this screen, if I wish to enroll in Password Station in Italian, I simply need to click on the Italian flag and I can continue through the enrollment wizard in my native language. For this demo, we will be performing the enrollment in English, thus we will click on the American flag to begin the enrollment. At this screen, we are prompted to enter our user ID to begin the process. This account or user ID is my primary account for which for this example is in Active Directory. In addition to my login ID, I can also configure Password Station to use an added layer of security known as CAPTCHA, which will require me to key in two words separated by a space as indicated in the bitmap. Also available with Password Station is the ability to use RSA tokens to authenticate to this page. For this demonstration, we will use a straightforward Active Directory authentication to enroll. To progress to the next step, I will enter my user ID of demo and click on the I Agree button to accept the privacy policy. The Avatar Identity Management Suite server, or AIMS, which is hosting Password Station, will check Active Directory to determine if I am enrolled. As you can see here, it finds that I am not enrolled and prompts me to click continue to move to the next step in the enrollment process. Since I am not yet enrolled, I am required to use my current password to verify my identity and click continue. Upon verification, I am now prompted to set up my identity questions. For question one, I will select what is the city you were born in? Since our headquarters is in San Ramon, I will use San Ramon as my answer. For question two, I will select what is your employee ID number. I will use 12647 for my response. For question three, I will select what is the furthest place you have traveled, and I will use California for the answer. The last question of our enrollment is what we refer to as our semi-private question. This is the question the help desk technicians will ask me if I were to call in for assistance. Upon verification of my semi-private question, the technician can then reset my password for me. Now that my questions are chosen, I will click continue to move on to the next enrollment step. On this screen, we will be establishing the PIN number we will use when we utilize the phone reset option for Password Station. We can call the help desk, select an IVR option to reset our password, and then we will be prompted for a numeric identifier, which in this example is phone number, and then we will be prompted for our PIN number to reset our Active Directory account. I will use 1234 as a PIN and click continue to move on to the next enrollment step. This part of the enrollment allows the option to link my Active Directory account to my account on the mainframe. This establishes the one-to-one -one relationship so that when I reset the password on my primary account or my Active Directory account, Password Station will then synchronize my password to my mainframe account as well. Clicking Continue finishes the enrollment and I can now use Password Station to reset my password without having to call the help desk or an administrator, saving myself time and the company money.